But I know too many young people, too many my age, too many people my age who choose to sell benefits, not because they can't get a job, but because it's easier than getting a job. All they have to do is go to the job centre, well, once a fortnight in it, sign on, get the money, and then they spend the money on drugs, and alcohol, fags, whatever other things they want. That taxpayers, the rest of us, shouldn't be funded. Do you think that's the media's view though of uh, young people that you, they're uh, doing those things? No, that's my friends. I'm talking about my specific friends. I'm not saying I've seen this on the news. I'm saying I know people who do this. And I don't think it's right that the system is so open to being abused that people can sit on benefits for years and never have to get a job. What that last guy said, yeah, it's difficult to get a job. I appreciate that. But the benefit system itself needs to work to force people into jobs. What do you think of volunteering? Volunteering is brilliant. Um, my mum always says that instead of having people with benefits, pay them to do those sort of voluntary type of things. You'd have them working and still getting the same money they're getting now. Do we not get to the point though where we talk about volunteering and the positive benefits of it, like you know whether it's CV experience or whether it's a certificate or a letter of support or a reference or whatever, or maybe just being in that kind of work mode, if you like, doing something between the hours of nine to five or, or getting out of the house, if you like. But at what point do we move on to where there's enough volunteering and we need to get people into work and start creating jobs. The guy was saying to me earlier, he said, well, we need someone to come along with a solution and actually create work. Yeah, that's absolutely true. I mean, we're in a recession, times are hard. Um, people do need to come up with new ways of creating new jobs. Obviously, in this country, we've lost industry. What that guy was saying about British Leyland, my granddad worked for British Leyland and got laid off. Um, so I can sort of relate to that. I know times are hard. I don't really know what the solution is of how to create new jobs. Um, but there's plenty of things that need doing, um, like council is supposed to keep the areas clean and tidy, there's people on benefits who could do those jobs.